hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for coming to join me today I am going to continue going over high value brooches with you and these are going to be between one thousand and two thousand dollars so if you like brooches if you're a reseller if you're a collector I am going to show you the highest selling from the last 90 days on eBay. I will let you know if they are auction or buy it now. And I'm going to show you them right now. All right, so if you missed my video last week, I went over the absolutely highest selling brooches on eBay. They went up to over $5,000. And many of you asked if I could do a video showing lower value brooches, but by lower, these are $1,000 to $2,000. I will continue doing these videos. So keep watching every Sunday. I probably will do two or three more. We will continue going down in value. And these are gonna start off at $1,000. Dalton is in here with me since we're recording on Sunday and he wanted to say hello. Tell him. Hi. All right, so there are some names on this video that I do know, as well as a few that I did not know. So I am excited to share with you because I learned quite a bit doing this one. And first up, I'm going to show you a set from Panino. This is a rare old vintage sign panino set this one was an auction got 14 bids sold for one thousand and nine dollars here up close you can see the blue beautiful navy blue stones as well as clear cz's and here is the whole set it is a necklace a bracelet earrings and a brooch and here on the back i wanted to show you these are marked panino on the back of the earrings as well as on the clasp of the bracelet and necklace i have found quite a few paninos so they are out there though most are not as valuable as this one all right up next is actually an unnamed brooch so you don't find many unnamed brooches that are worth over a thousand dollars however this one was this is a vintage style elegant flower gold tone large brooch pen red rhinestone and crystal sold for one thousand eleven dollars and ninety three cents here you can see it up close it is actually bigger than their hand very very large brooch and here it is from the side kind of a profile and I did also want to show you on the back, this is an unmarked brooch. So it might have been a well-known maker, but if it was, the seller did not identify it and it is not marked. Up next is a Shriner, which completely dominated the last high dollar brooch video. This Shriner is a little bit different though. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this one sold for a little over a thousand this is a superb gypsy gem carved porcelain tile signed shriner brooch gorgeous colors they did take a best offer on a price of a thousand and forty nine dollars here are the brooches up close really really pretty so most of the shriners are kind of over the top with the larger gemstones however this one is not it is pretty simple in comparison to most you can see this one is clearly marked shriner new york up next is a name that i was not aware of and this is another one this one sold on auction for a little over a thousand dollars this is a Deliza and Elster Rivoli Margarita clip-on earring and bib necklace as well as a matching brooch. Was an auction, got 32 bids and sold for $1,055. Here you can see that bib necklace up close. Absolutely gorgeous piece. And here is the back of this necklace. I am not seeing a marking on this so the seller had to identify it another way right and if you're wondering how you can identify some of these if you have an idea of the maker of it 
you can go to a Facebook group for that jewelry or you could also go to antique or vintage Facebook groups post a picture of your brooch and there are jewelry experts out there willing to help I do get messages and that is not something I offer honestly I'm not knowledgeable enough to identify who makes most brooches I just do not have that depth of knowledge but there are a lot of amazing Facebook groups that can help you I also recommend trying Google Lens as well up next is an absolutely beautiful purple enamel butterfly this is a antique Marius hammer butterfly brooch ultra rare violet purple this one sold for $1,099 this is another name I was not aware of and here you can see this enamel butterfly brooch up close nothing overly spectacular about this one and this one was not marked on the back and still was a great sale at $1,099 all right up next is a jewelry set that is 18 karat gold I did put gold in here because I feel like a lot of these might get looked over at some estate sales or garage sales people simply don't think of a lot of these as being a precious metal but they are so this next one was a great sale and it was original in its box this is a vintage set of 14 karat yellow gold Mickey Moto pearl circle brooch and dangle earrings this one was a buy it now it sold for eleven hundred and twenty dollars here you can see the two pieces up close in the box beautiful beautiful classic set here on the back they're showing the marking but it's actually pretty hard to read and that's why I think some of these might get passed over up next is something I absolutely love to sell and that is a mini portrait brooch I love old photographs whether they are on necklaces in frames on brooches they can be really really big money just like this next one this is an antique enamel 18 karat solid gold pen small round brooch they did put young woman they accepted a best offer on a price of eleven hundred and forty dollars here she is up close absolutely beautiful beautiful little painting on enamel and here is the back and I did want to show you this one does not say 18 karat so they did test it so that's another reason why some of these might get looked over so keep your eye out if you see small portraits that are done very well all right up next is a name I have come across a few times this one is really different it is absolutely it's just cool it's really really cool this one is by Lawrence Verba this is a magnificent collectible vintage Verba brooch pendant and mint condition this one sold for $1,250 here up close you can see the beautiful beads as well as the rhinestones on this one super super cool piece and then here on the back you can see it is clearly stamped Lawrence Verba all right up next is another 14 karat brooch this one looks pretty plain to me I never would have thought it would sell for so much it is by Shreve Crump and low which is a name I was not familiar with this is a large antique Shreve crump and low 14 karat yellow white gold diamond leaf brooch pen it sold for buy it now twelve hundred and forty five dollars here you can see that leaf brooch with the Shreve crump and low bag again not overly impressive to me it is just a gold leaf brooch and here on the back on one end you can see it is signed sc and l and then here on the other end of the leaf you can see it is clearly stamped 14k and that was a great sale at 1245 dollars up next is a brooch that was simply signed france so watch out for items that are stamped or signed that are made in different countries a lot of times those are some of my biggest selling items this one is a very very pretty flower this is a vintage signed france french grippa 
poured glass pink magnolia flower pen it was an auction got 13 bids sold for twelve hundred and fifty four dollars here you can see that brooch up close a beautiful pink green and turquoise glass on it and here on the back you can see it is clearly stamped france and that is it and a great great sale again on auction for twelve hundred and fifty four dollars up next is another name I did not know and that is Claude Lelan and this is a really cool apple brooch that sold for a great price. This is a whimsical Claude Lelan surrealist bronze smiling apple pen was made in Paris France. It was by it now. They accepted an offer on $1,250. Here you can see the apple up close, the little lips. And on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Lelan AB Paris. And that was a great sale at $1,250. Up and next is a beautiful carved coral pendant brought a really really great price it is a profile of a woman carved out of coral this is a gorgeous antique coral pendant brooch fine quality 37 grams sold for twelve hundred and sixty seven dollars and fifty cents here you can see it in their hand very very nice coral carved brooch and here you can see the signature on it. I think this is an 800. It is worn from age. So I do believe this is lined in sterling silver. And that was a great sale at $1,267. Up next is a Pietra Dura. Another name I'm not familiar with. And I didn't see that these were signed. So I'm unsure how they identified them. But this was a great sale. This is Pietra Dura Antique Brooch and Earrings Bird and Grape Decor, sold for $1,250. Here you can see them up close. Really, really cool. It looks like a dove on a grapevine. And here on the back, you can see it does not appear to be marked. Still an absolutely great sale at $1,250. All right, up next is a name I know, and I have found a few. I have not been lucky enough to find any like this that are worth over a thousand dollars, but I do think this name is definitely worth remembering, and that is Hobay. This is a Hobay Early Vintage Pink Faceted Moonstone Glass Rhinestone Enamel Flowers Brooch, sold for a best offer on $1,275 asking price. Here you can see this Hobay up close. Beautiful, beautiful filigree work on this one. Absolutely gorgeous little black enamel flowers as well as pink rhinestones. And here on the back, you can see this one is clearly marked in the middle Hobay and a great sale at almost $1,300. All right, this next one is a name that I know is typically money and that is Givenchy. However, the brooch looks really, really plain and I don't know that before doing this research video that I would have picked this up to even look at the back, but this was an amazing, amazing sale. This is a rare vintage Givenchy Hotte Couture Lucite Red Heart Brooch Pin and Earring Set. And of course, this is perfect to be selling with Valentine's just around the corner. This one sold for a best offer on Buy It Now, $1,295. Here you can see the three of them up close. Very, very simple, solid red hearts in a gold tone setting. And on the back, you can see they are clearly marked around the whole edge of the brooch and earrings, Givenchy. Up next is another name that I did not know. That is the Hammerman Brothers. This one is pretty cool. It is a sea anemone brooch. This is a Hammerman Brothers 18 karat sea anemone brooch. This one was an auction, got 53 bids, sold for $1,275. Here you can see the brooch up close. Really cool 3D aspect to this one with green and blue enamel as well as brushed gold tone. And here on the back on the leaf, you can see it is clearly marked 18 karat and there is an H for Hammerman Brothers. 
next is another name I didn't know that sold really high. It is a beetle brooch and it is made by Jaren. This is a Jaren Amazing Mechanical Turquoise Beetle Scarab Vintage Pen or Brooch sold for best offer at $1,299. Here you can see it up close. Absolutely beautiful turquoise on this as well as CZ. And this one was not precious metal. It was not gold. It was just gold tone. And here on the back you can see it is clearly marked Jaren. Up next is a, another one that we have heard from before. This is a very elaborate brooch and it had that price to go with it. This is a vintage signed MATL Solace Mexico sterling silver turquoise and coral dove brooch sold on buy it now for $1,299. Here you can see the brooch up close with the flying doves absolutely beautiful green and turquoise and there also are coral beads and this one is signed on the back here. You can see in script M-A-T-L Solace. And I wanted to zoom it out a little more where you could see where it was written. I actually have had a piece from them and that was a great sale at $1,299. Um, next is a name that I have just recently become acquainted with actually by doing my sales on whatnot and going to other sellers shows on whatnot I've seen some of these brooches for sale on whatnot so if you haven't checked whatnot out I'll put my app down below it's a live selling app I have a link you can get $15 for free signing up and you can find some great jewelry I sell on there six days a week I don't I don't sell brooches like this I wish I could find this many of these these again are not my sales this is a research video let me show you this Sherman set that sold for great money this is a rare Sherman Swarovski fruit salad 1967 Canada Centennial brooch or pen this one sold for best offer on $1,295 here you can see it up close, tons of sparkle from those Swarovski crystals. Here's a profile of it laying down. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Sherman. Next is another name that I was not aware of. It is a Martine. And this is a really cool and fun rabbit brooch. This is a vintage Martine 14 karat yellow gold enamel, enamel rabbit golfer brooch. It sold for $1,350. Here you can see this cute little golfer rabbit. And on the back here, you can clearly see it is signed Martine. And it actually looks like it says 18 karat. So I'm thinking it was marked 18 karat, but the seller tested it at 14 karat. And that was a great sale at $1,350. That sold for way more than its weight. So what is selling these brooches so high is the name, the style, and the demand for these brooches. Up next is a name that came up in the first video we did that sold for over 2000 That is MMA or Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is a MMA 14 karat yellow gold ancient scythian panther lioness pen brooch they did put heavy weight sold for buy it now at thirteen hundred and fifty dollars here you can see that horse up close absolutely great piece with a green rhinestone eye and here on the back you can see it is clearly stamped mma 14 karat up next is a name that has come up many times in my research videos. If you're not already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I do these videos regularly. I have quite a few I've done already. So check out my research videos playlist. I've done brooches. I've done just 
all jewelry bracelets necklaces earrings there is a necklace one there's one on teacups tons of research videos so if you like videos like this definitely go check out that playlist subscribe turn on that bell and watch the other videos there are some great ones so let me go ahead you should know this name it is very very popular and that is eisenberg this is an Eisenberg original large gold wash floral spray fur clip brooch with the original box. This was an auction, got 22 bids, sold for $1,358. Here you can see this brooch up close. Absolutely beautiful big statement brooch. And on the back here you can see it clearly says Eisenberg original that was a great sale getting 22 bids for $1,358. Next is another name I am not familiar with. This one's a really cool kind of a pumpkin look and it is by Eric Magnuson. This is an Eric Magnuson silver enamel head and hand brooch. It looks like a pumpkin to me with the orange. They are not saying it's a pumpkin. I might have put that in my title. They did put phenomenal. They took a best offer on a $1,400.95 asking price. Here is that brooch up close. Really, really cool face there. And here on the back, you can see this one is very clearly stamped with Eric Magnuson as well as the EM 219 Sterling. And it was made in Denmark. Up next is a pen that is not signed and not by any known maker. It is a bat and it commanded an excellent, excellent price. This is an antique vintage Art Nouveau sterling silver vampire bat. I don't know why they put ruby and diamond because I don't see any ruby or diamonds. I think that is keyword spamming, which is against the rules on eBay, by the way. This one sold for a best offer of four on $1,495. Here you can see the bat up close, great detail with the wings spread out. And then here on the back, you can see that it is clearly marked with only the word sterling there on the bottom and a great sale at almost $1,500. Up next is another one that sold for almost $1,500. Another maker I was not familiar with, and that is H. Stern. This is an H. Stern Modernist Green Tourmaline and Fine Diamonds 18 karat gold brooch clip from the 1970s. Another one that was buy it now, they took a best offer on $1,495. Here you can see that brooch up close, absolutely beautiful gold and tourmaline. And here on the back, you can see it is marked 750, as well as the S inside of the diamond, which is for H. Stern. And that was a great sale at almost $1,500. Up next is a brooch that did sell for $1,500. And this is another artist that I did not know. This is a vintage Fred Peschlikai pen brooch, turquoise stone artisan jewelry rope oval. It was an auction, got seven bids, sold for $1,500. Here you can see that brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful piece of turquoise there. And here on the back, you can see it was clearly initialed with FP. So if you get a piece like this, what you can do is you can put in FP brooch and hopefully somebody has abbreviated that and you can find out that it stood for Fred Press Lie. And that was an absolutely great sale of $1,500. Up next is another gorgeous Eisenberg. This is a huge five inch vintage signed Eisenberg flower floral spray pen or brooch all original condition sold by it now for $1,500. Here you can see it in their hand another absolutely gorgeous really big statement piece and here on the back you can see it is clearly stamped Eisenberg. Up next is another name that has come up many times and I have found 
quite a few of these and I get asked where do you, where do you find these brooches well they are rare so it is definitely going to be hard to find them but I recommend estate sales online auctions garage sales you just have to keep your eye out and hopefully you'll be lucky enough to find one so this is one that I don't think I necessarily would have picked up and flipped over but again always learning and now if I see one like this I will this is the next one is by Marcel Boucher this is a rare vintage Marcel Boucher grape cluster brooch was an auction got 21 bids and sold for $1525 here's the brooch up close beautiful beautiful brooch and here on the back you can see it is marked with patent pending as well as mb most of the boucher brooches i have found are marked boucher with it spelled out and that was a great sale at just over fifteen hundred dollars up next is another name that i am not familiar with and another sale over fifteen hundred dollars for one brooch this is Daniel Macchiarini Sterling Copper Brass Negative Positive Eye Mask Brooch sold for best offer on $1,550. Here you can see it laying out. This is a really, really cool kind of abstract face brooch. And here on the back, you can see it was clearly marked Macchiarini on the back under the pen. And that was a great sale at over $1,500. All right, up next is one of my favorite designers, and that is Miriam Haskell. And this set is a beautiful, beautiful blue. And this, this one is pretty amazing. This is a vintage Miriam Haskell three-piece runway statement rhinestone jewelry set it was the necklace the earrings as well as a brooch here you can see them up close beautiful beautiful blue on these and just a really really pretty set and here on the back you can clearly see on the brooch as well as the earrings they are clearly marked Miriam Haskell all right up next is one by George Jensen and it doesn't look that spectacular but it sold for a great great price so keep an eye out you know they might not be really elaborate but they still can bring really really good money this is an early rare george jensen sterling silver and jade brooch it was buy it now it sold for sixteen hundred dollars here you can see the brooch up close there are two jade cabochon stones beautiful sterling silver setting here on the back you can see it was clearly marked george jensen copenhagen that was a great sale at sixteen hundred dollars up next is a chanel brooch if you don't know chanel definitely commands money but i would not necessarily have pegged this as a chanel piece this is a rare Chanel Blackamore Vintage Collector's Brooch multicolored pin. It sold for $1,700. Here you can see it from the side. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. Very, very colorful hat on her. And here on the back, you can see the Chanel, the double C's, and this one was made in France. Up next is a absolutely beautiful cameo some cameos can be worth a ton of money you just have to learn which ones are and there are a ton of cameos out there so be careful when you are looking especially if you're paying up you want to make sure that you are getting something that is worth what you are paying for it this is an antique victorian 14 carat cameo pendant 31 garnets ladies cherub sardonic sold on buy it now for sixteen hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see this one up close absolutely beautiful carving with the ladies and the cherubs and on the back i do want to show you this is another one that is not marked 14 carat so you would need to test to confirm that and that was a great sale at sixteen hundred and ninety nine dollars up next is the first Trafari in this video though there were quite a few that came up in this price range this is a really cool Trafari jelly belly with a red stone 
frog and earring set. This is a vintage Trafari red jelly belly frog brooch and earrings jewelry retro from the 1940s. They do say it is rare. This one sold for $1,700. Here you can see them up close. Really, really cool frog brooch. And I did want to show you here on the back of the earrings, they are clearly marked Trafari. And that was a great sale at $1,700. Up next is another designer. I absolutely love most of her pieces and that is Hattie Carnegie. This is a gorgeous signed Hattie Carnegie vintage rooster chicken enamel pearl brooch. This was an auction, got 41 bids and sold for $1,725. Here you can see that rooster up close really really pretty piece with the enamel as well as the pearl and here on the back you can see most Hattie Carnegie pieces are clearly marked with Hattie Carnegie and that was a great sale bringing 41 bids for over $1,700. Up next is another name I do not know. This one looks pretty simple but it brought a lot of money. It is a blue enamel brooch by Joseph Hoffman. This is a rare Art Nouveau Wiener Werkstätte, Joseph Hoffman and Johann Suval enamel brooch sold for $1,749. Here is that enamel up close, really, really pretty with what looks to be a heart in the middle. And here on the back, you can see the WW for Wiener Werkstätte. And that was a great sale at $1,749. All right, we are up to our top five selling between that $1,000 and $2,000 mark. We're going to start off with a piece of corn, a corn brooch that sold for over $1,500. This is a important Trafari Alfred Felipe enameled corn on the cob brooch rare big size this was an auction got 23 bids and sold for $1,753 for a piece of corn brooch here you can see the corn up close very very pretty piece of corn but it is a piece of corn so I would not have expected this one and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked with Trafari and the crown on top up next is another artist I was not familiar with. This one sold for over $1,700 as well, and it is by Mary Gage. This is an artisan Mary Gage sterling silver carved rose quartz wirework lily pad brooch sold for $1,799. Here you can see the brooch up close. Beautiful, beautiful carved piece of rose quartz there in the middle of sterling silver. And here on the back, you can see this one would easily have been identified as it was stamped Mary Gage Sterling. All right, the top three all sold for $2,000. And this first one is a beautiful Miriam Haskell set with pink stones. This is a Miriam Haskell set, rare vintage pearl and pink glass, Perur signed. This one sold for $2,000. It is a set with the necklace, earrings, and a brooch. Here you can see the set up close. Beautiful, beautiful pink glass stones on this. I do believe these pearls are faux pearls. And here on the back, you can see all of the pieces were clearly signed Miriam Haskell. All right, next coming in at $2,000 is another Trafari Alfred Felipe. This is a rare 1949 Alfred Felipe Crown Trafari Jewels of India set. This was a leaf brooch sold for $2,000. Here you can see the brooch up close. A beautiful beads there in the middle. And this one does look like it's actually missing a stone there on the bottom of the leaf. Here is the side... Here is the side profile. This is a very, very nice 3D brooch. And here on the back, you can see again, clearly marked Trafari with the crown. And I did wanna show you this seller put up a picture 
from a book showing that collection and it says the Christmas every woman can have the thrill of um, AJ jewelry trafari and you can see that leaf brooch there on that page all right the last of the two thousand dollar sales this one is another shriner great great price let me show you now this is a vintage signed shriner new york millifiori venetian glass dome brooch or pen sold for one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars here you can see it up close beautiful yellow cabochons around the edge as well as amazing millifiori glass there in the middle and then here on the back you can see that it is clearly marked shriner new york and that was a great sale at two thousand dollars all right, that is the end. I hope you enjoyed. Next Sunday, we will go over brooches probably from $500 to $1,000, and then I will continue going lower. The lower we get, the more likely you are to find these out in the wild, so to speak, at estate sales. If you would like me to help you research and find these, my channel membership for $9.99 a month, I do help with sourcing and finding items in your local area so if you would like to try that out hit the join button below any video sometimes you have to view it on the computer check out the different levels of membership and sourcing is one of them where i look by your zip code it is one of my favorite things to do absolutely fun time hanging out with everybody check that out again i am live on whatnot six days a week including tonight at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time i do mostly gemstone jewelry tonight we do have quite a bit of pearl jewelry so if you enjoy that come over and see us i will put the link to whatnot in my comments so you can get 15 dollars free download the app on your phone and search for the nurse flipper no spaces in there and you will find me and find my sales we do give away six pieces of jewelry every show for free so you don't have to buy anything i pay the shipping so come hang out have fun I will see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't, hit the thumbs up, and have an absolutely amazing week.